The Department of Social Development of South Africa is the government department that is responsible for providing social development, protection and welfare services to the public. In this story, we take you through a journey that highlights just some of the roles and services that are being provided by the department. First on the agenda, government's response to the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. The department was tasked to create a solution to provide some relief to citizens that were affected by the lockdown through social grants. This process was carried through its distribution agency, SASA. CEO of SASA, Busisiwe Memela Kambula, and Chief Director of the Social Assistant at the Department of Social Development, Brenton van Fierde, spoke to us about the 350 Social Relief Grant Rollout Program. There was a very strong commitment to begin to make things to work. Um, and that's essentially how the, the, the various relief packages came to be. Most people only really focus on the social relief of distress grant of 350 rands. But at the time there was there was there was an additional relief package which which the, the SRD was actually one of the smaller ones. There was a 250 rand top-up on on the existing grants and for us that was the quickest way. We, we realized that we already had uh, the vast majority of poor households in our system. The first most important thing to highlight is the fact that prior to the recommendation of the grant or the, the, the suggestion that we should implement this grant, which understandably could have been done by the responsibility could have been given to any other agency within within the country, but we're grateful to the fact that it was it was given to us as as a sector because we have some kind we have a lot of capacity and capabilities in terms of doing that. It's important to highlight that just prior we had. A, 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 a Brenton indicated earlier on that we have a normal SRD grant that we normally do. We therefore had to, to, to make sure that in relation to that, which was with very limited funds, we needed to make sure that we get our people out there to go and provide support in terms of food to people. But we needed to take that through uh, the procurement process, which was quite challenging at the time. I'm grateful to the fact that a number of our people actually went out there during the start of the pandemic to ensure that people had food. During the National Disability Month, Deputy Minister of the Department of Social Development, Henrietta Bohopane Zulu, hosted a three-day dialogue on the rights of short-statted persons from the 10th to the 12th of November 2021. During these dialogues, a variety of topics were discussed, including gender-based violence, sexual reproductive health and rights for short statured people. The first one why you guys are here is because we want to make sure that the short statured people are formalized. We want to make sure the organization is functional. We want to make sure the organization grows. We want to make sure that you guys know each other. You make new friends. And just, just, just maybe I get to be invited at some wedding. That would be very nice. So can you guys start getting married? But don't get married like Pete. And Pete is like here, and the wife is like there. Can you guys marry? There. Eh? Marry there. See this thing? It's not working, guys. It makes our minds to like wonder what happened to that baby. So please, eh? Mary, here. Yeah. We also spent a day in Mabubane Tswane with Itumeleng Mage, a short statured person who took us through some of the societal challenges experienced by short statured people. When I go out, like in a taxi, starting from where I like I have to wait for the taxi. Sometimes they will not see me. I'll point the finger up, but then they will not see me. They will pass me, especially when it's raining. Then I struggle a lot. And then maybe someone will, see, and then then the other one will see me. They have to assist me in getting on the taxi. And also, yeah, like they have to assist me. Like they have to carry me. When I go to the mall, like 
at the ATM. And most of the time, I'm asking assistance from the security. The security or maybe the mm, bank teller there. And then they will come and assist me because I cannot reach. One of the most challenging tasks for the Department of Social Development is to tackle poverty and hunger in South Africa. And to curb these challenges, the department has been providing thousands of needy South Africans with a daily healthy meal through its Household Food and Nutrition Security Program. We, as the implementing agent, we are required to set up a PFTC centre, which is the Provincial Food Distribution Centre, which is where we are. So our role encompasses two main functions, one to serve as a DC centre, distribution centre, and the other one as an administrative We've got an administrative function. Um, so what we have to do is we have to then um, distribute food to different CNDCs which are identified throughout the province. And what we do is we procure food, which is fresh fruits and um, dry foods. And we then distribute them to the centers where food is then cooked at those centers um, for vulnerable people in the communities. Poverty and inequality are multidimensional and complex in their causes and expressions. The Department of Social Development adopted and institutionalized the Sustainable Livelihoods approach as a viable vehicle to address the challenges of poverty, unemployment and inequality. In Bushbakrish, the department identified Ma Alas Mutala Tlosi, a local seamstress whose business has always faced challenges of low production numbers due to her sewing machine. We are not going to get to share our development. We are not going to get to share our development. We are not going to get to share our development. We are not going to get to share our development. We are not going to get to share our development. We are not going to get to share our development. Ma Ellis was supplied with a new industrial sewing machine, an industrial overlocker machine, three reel complete with table, a stand and a half HP motor. Ever since she was funded, her business has acquired contracts to supply schools and churches with uniforms in the area. Another beneficiary of the SLA is Lesejo Ceramic and Pottery, a small business that was established in 2016 by five previously disadvantaged youths from Arthurset Village. It produces clay products such as tea sets, platter plates, dinner sets, steak plates, jewelry, etc. Lesejo Ceramic and Pottery was supported by the Department of Social Development to strengthen their business by buying assets that were priority and will sustain the business. The department supported the cooperative by 20,000 rands and was able to buy some assets that were priority in the business. The social development came and they looked at the work that we do and they looked at the commitment of the overall team and they were touched and they decided to help us uh, with more molds to speed up the process of production. And now I can say, uh, making an order of 1,000 plates, it's like nothing to us. So that's how great they have helped us. The Department of Social Development is mainly responsible for coordinating social security policy for the country and the provision of the first pillar of social security, namely the Social Assistance Programme. Social assistance is funded by government revenue. This is what is referred to as social grants to vulnerable children, the elderly and those with disabilities, administered and dispersed by the Department of Social Development through its agency, South African Social Security Agency, also known as SASA. The Department of Social Development writes the policy on the different kinds of grants. The primary focus of those ones is for people who are vulnerable in the country. We have social grants for children, from the age zero all the way up to age 18, children who, are, who come from poor families. Uh, so the department has those child support grants. We also have foster child grants for children who have lost a parent, who are, who are living with people who are not their biological parents. So the foster child grant is another kind of grant that we give. The other grant is the disability grant for persons with disability 
We provide disability grants for children and also for adults. And the disability grant is also given on a temporary basis, but also we have the permanent one for people with permanent uh, disability. Then we have the older persons grant, which is the one that is the most famous, the, the one that the, the goggles go in queue for. That's the old age grant. We visited Gogo Mildred Mlalosi, a 95-year-old pensioner living in Soweto. Gogo Mildred is a recipient of the social grant meant for the elderly. GBV, which disproportionately affects women and girls, is systemic and deeply entrenched in institutions, cultures and traditions in South Africa. One of the results of GBV is teenage pregnancy. With the Department of Social Development as the custodian of children, with the responsibility to care and protect for them whilst ensuring their well-being, we decided to launch a series of dialogues with stakeholders in the communities around the country. We gathered at OR Tambo district, specifically in Lusikisiki, Musa Hill municipality, uh, to address issues of teenage pregnancy with stakeholders of the municipality because Lusikisiki, it is the hot spot within the OR Tambo district because it has got the highest numbers of children who fell pregnant or children that were impregnated. We travel to a small remote village near Lusikisiki called Mboki. Here, we are introduced to a family whose 15-year-old daughter fell pregnant after being raped by a 23-year-old man who also happens to be their neighbor. Teenage pregnancy is a gross violation of a basic human right of a child. And the Department of Social Development will continue to fight the scourge by supporting NPOs who are in the social development sector and look after children in their communities. We visited the Boys and Girls Club in Protea in Soweto, a drop-in centre for young people who are between the ages of 6 and 19. So everyday kids come in here and they have a healthy meal, they do their homework, they find responsible adults who are consistent and are here every day who care about their well-being, waiting for them um, to do their work after school and to have fun. Uh, it's our priority and our focus to keep this place safe and fun for kids who come here. Um, we look after the holistic development of a child in that we focus on their academics, their fun part. Uh, uh, fitness and, and recreation, arts and culture, and yes, um, uh, life skills programs. The Department of Social Development does most of its work through selfless efforts of the social worker. And with every third Tuesday of March being World Social Work Day, we wrapped it up by showing appreciation to these gentle giants. I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you, Siabonga, Realebuha, Dolivua, Gamanda, to all social workers who continue to serve our people ever so tirelessly. Have a blessed social work. 
Siablela Kul. Siabong. Siabong. Thank you. Oh, no, you go. Siabong. You can see. Thank you. Bye, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, you go. Ralebuha. Ralebuha. The Department of Social Development will continue to transform our society by building conscious and capable citizens through the provision of comprehensive, integrated and sustainable social development services.